Well, you know, your grandmama used to say, if you spare the rod, you spoil the child. And I'm not necessarily in agreement with that. Um, I kind of feel like this boy done got some whoopings. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. Yes, 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 y'all. I also saw the pain, the disrespect, and the hurt that King um, Harris uh, did and had towards his parents. And, you know, this is a job that, that doesn't come with a manual, doesn't come with a handbook. So you learn along the way. And a lot of times when you're young, when you have your children, and I'm not necessarily saying this is the case, but it pretty much could be, um, not just young in age, but young mentally. Because, you know, when a woman has a baby early, that kind of cuts off whatever age she is and she has that baby, that kind of cuts where her mentality is. Okay? A lot of people don't want to deal with that fact, but... When you are 12 and your body gets shocked with having a baby, your maturity level is not very um, high. And so usually when you come into your um, mature years, you can tell where you've been damaged. Okay, and that's why you see a lot of young women... Um, when they have a kid early, when they get into their 30s, then they want to dress like their kids. They want to be young. And you're like, what is wrong with her? In fact, I knew a, a woman like that who had her children all early, started at the age of 11. And by the time her children were all in uh, respite and in group homes, um, just happened to be in mine. And what was interesting is when the woman interacted with her children she interacted like their friend because her 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 growth had been stunted at 11 years old and so i look for that now i'm not saying necessarily that that's the case here but what i am saying is sometimes when we are not present and active like we should be in our children's lives it reflects yeah, you can send your child over to grandma's house, but it shouldn't be because he won't mind you. Or it shouldn't it shouldn't be you sending him over there because he getting on y'all nerve and y'all know that this is the best place for him. Um, if he wanna suck a pacifier at twelve years old and you won't allow him to, he shouldn't be able to go over to his in my opinion, grandmama house to suck the pacifier because it is the behavior of sucking the pacifier that you have a problem with. Am I right? So when I look at King, and I'm not going to bash him, you know, because while he was extremely disrespectful, he's going to pay for that. He's going to pay. He's got his day of reckoning. Trust you me. But a lot of it is tip. A lot of it is his dad. Nobody couldn't tell his dad nothing when he was that age. And the reason why I can tell is because of his response when King was in there wilding out with the people in the restaurant. And then you had the nerve tip to get on the, 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 the Internet and talk about your son. Why would he want to argue with this short or the cook? See, that to me is co-signing that behavior. You don't talk about your son dealing with this short order cook as if this person is less than, as if he's not to be respected, and that your son can come in there wilding out. And the moment you took that stance, I said, okay, that dog going to come back to bite him. I knew it. And because now he's smelling his piss, so he's a little grown. And you heard him say it, I'm grown now. I'm grown now. But like I always say, I'm I'm with Gene Deal on this one. 
you ain't grown until you raise somebody to get grown. Then you understand what growing up is all about. So see, he compares himself to his dad. He said his dad is capping, and he gonna be the one to set it straight. Cause see, he, you know, they they just fake all the sacrificing his mother and dad did for him. He wants to live the thug life. Okay. Now it's unfortunate, but sometimes some of us got to learn our lessons the hard way. And what I would suggest. With the expertise that I have with working with wayward young people, what I would suggest, in my humble opinion, is King get to write down everything that he dislike about his uh, father. And then, on the second piece of paper, he gets to write down everything that he dislikes about his mom. Okay, no matter what it is, no matter how small and trivia it may be to somebody else. It is his feelings, and they deserve to be acknowledged, okay? And then after we come from there, then we give their parents the same opportunity. This tell them what they're not going to put up with, where the lines and the boundaries are crossed, and where the line, um, you know, where's the, the, where the rules, limitations, and boundaries exist, and what they are, and make sure that he's clear on them. Those are the kind of conversations, and you don't you don't have them in one day. But those are that's the way you got to come at him because see now he thinks that he's just as as a grown man as his dad, and the fact that he would want to fight his dad in the private box at the Atlanta Falcons game when he wouldn't even be there if his dad wouldn't allow him in there. Then it goes to show you he needs to be straightened up, okay? And that's not always beating somebody. But that's also not taking their crap either, okay? So at this point, I want to say that to uh, Tip and Tiny, you know, that's all a part of the apprenticeship in raising children. And Tip, you got so many that he may have some resentments going on. That's why I'm telling you about. You think that was something? Let me tell you something. That was small. Y'all, wait till you see Nick Cannon get his ass whooped. Because he going he gonna to really get it. Okay? <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. And unless you're looking for a solution in this situation, it ain't always beat their ass, beat their ass. That's not always the case. Sometimes you got to let the chips fall where they may. You got to let a person say what they got to say, get it out what they got to get out, let them work it out from there, okay? Because he's not responsible for the cards that he was uh, dealt, but he got to learn how to play that hand. A lot of kids would love to be in his situation, love to have came up in the privilege that he, that he so adamantly denies. Okay, it's a whole lot of kids that will want to uh, grow up in that type of situation. So I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that um, Tip Clifford uh, was a little bit lax and thought it was funny when King was cussing out other people, showing up at the Waffle House, but having a gun in his book, when all that stuff was funny. How do you think that that manifested itself in his relationship with his father? I'd like to know. I'd like to know. So with that being said, let me have your opinion. I'm waiting for it below. And if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. And I'm going to see you in the next video. God bless you.